evening and welcome to February 28th, 2019 Town of Ware Planning Board meeting. I already lost my agenda. There it is. The first item on the agenda is a site plan review for Keith Mulholland, 781 South Stark Highway, map 411, lot 150 in the commercial zone. First thing we have to do is make sure and make sure and uh, move the application is complete. So yeah. we just got this. I didn't have a chance to look at it at all. You got to kind of search around, and find everything. I got one question already. I see a letter someplace from Bozeman. From Bozeman, yeah. He's the owner. The letter says it's okay to submit an application for a conceptual building and business. This isn't conceptual. Maybe he thought that the one that he submitted for the conceptual was good enough for this one. Do we have another one? No, that's it. But he had one that was very similar that he came in on with the conceptual application for conceptual. What was yeah. it a different letter? This is dated 1231. Yeah, it was a different letter. He must have just made a mistake about putting in conceptual in that. Chip, under item 29, prior to final approvals, copies of any necessary federal, state, local permits and approvals of other boards or commissions. Is there anything specifically that's required beside a driveway permit? Mm, not that I know of. Septic uh, design. Septic design, and he may need DES approvals for his spray guns. And EPA, all that stuff is registered. But nothing for the steepness of the slope and the wetland There's at the bottom of the site. According to this, Mr. Carr has done all of that. How did Mr. Carr stamp and sign his plan in September I of have 2018? I have no idea. I can answer that. There it is. How do you do it? There, there, he sends us a scan, a scan stamp. That after he does it, does it, uh, he, he we import it. We'll have to update that for you. So he, so when did he flag the wetlands? He flagged the wetlands earlier this year. I just located them um, about a month ago with fresh flagging on it. Does it come to the office every time we do the plan?
Did he get a certified letter? Cool. Okay. Oh, he did. Are you in a second? No, he did not. In that case, I'd say the application is not complete. I think of some reasons for a little bit. Other than that one. In case there's others, I should say. No, he did not, and I believe Art drew the plans. Art, Art drew the plans. Art didn't get one either. Either money or both. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see either. That's why. And that plan may have been done in 98. The state of 2019, February. Because there is a, uh, there's a, a borrow pit. What is the borrow pit? Somebody took some material out. Let me dig out some dirt to fill it somewhere else. We'll probably build this bridge. <coughs> and is that done? Yes. Is the pit still there? I would assume. It's probably old. Could be 50 years old. Or longer. They just didn't topo the pit. Which I don't blame them. Took a gazillion shots. I'm going to make a motion we do not accept the application as no, I guess I've got to make it a positive. So I've got to make a motion to accept the application as complete because motions have to be in the positive, right? No. No? Yeah. I prefer to do it that way, though, personally. Yeah, I do too. 
We'll second the motion and we'll have a discussion on it. I'll second the motion. There's about four things I quickly see missing is the notification to Tom Carr, the notification to Art Siciliano, a test pit. I don't see any proposed lighting on the plan. See a, but there's a I see a picture of right. a light. And on the plan it it's shows the light for the where? sign, I think. It, it, it show, there's one light shown on the side of the building in one of the documents that was submitted. There is no picture of the sign, but there is a, yeah, there's a picture this is of the sketch. Oh, this is the sign? Oh, okay. I assume. Got it. I didn't see a light anywhere. Hold on. Here. No. Here. There's two on the corners. This one and this one. Oh, this is a double. Okay. That's a double. And then on the next page, at the end. But aren't we also missing some? They should, certainly, they should be on the plan. Yeah. Missing st the state. Well, we don't need those for. We don't need those now. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. We we can. We can <coughs> We can approve it contingent upon getting those approvals. Those can be conditional. They're only Chip can decide if they're there or not. It's not like it's um the state has already said they'll give them a driveway permit. But I'm concerned about the wetlands at the bottom, whether anything he's going to do is affecting that, it's which would require some sort of DES permit. What is the plan? No. I don't think so. Yeah. That he doesn't have to build any retaining walls or anything. Building a retaining wall appears to be about. It's out of the 25 foot buffer. Building a, that's the three. The three red stones are about two, four, six, seven feet high. Retaining wall. <coughs> well, I don't know that. There's no grading shown, so I shouldn't say that. No, the DES doesn't even require a 25 foot buffer. That's no, just us. As long as you don't touch it, the DES is happy. So if he does that, then he doesn't require any state permit not from for DES. DES. Not for the, just the septic, nothing for the wetlands. And it kind of looks like the little lights he's got shown on this little side view of the yeah. building isn't, isn't, and he's got one on the end. It doesn't, at least the little sketches here don't appear to be the same kind of light that he showed on the, on the attachment. Lights, the light and the pictures for the sign, not Yeah. Oh. Kind of what I, what it looks like, yeah. And there's no cut sheets for the lights. So we need something for the lights on the building also. What's that? We need something for the lights on the building also. And I assume there's going to be some grading done in the back with that. I assume that's a stone. I assume those stones are posed retaining wall. Where I don't know that for sure. I believe it's like six feet. <coughs> so the stone wall is kind of to bring the grade up so it's flat around the building itself. There's, just, there's no grading shown in the plan. Go ahead. So we have the two certified letters, grading, test pit, lights. Exterior lights. Exterior lights in the building. The cut sheet and being and shown. Anything else you get these? Notification notification for Tom Carr, Art Siciliano, test yes. pit information, proposed exterior lighting needs to be shown, grading. Test pit. Oh, I was having trouble hearing you. Five things. <coughs> and can we make sure we get a new letter from Mr. Boschman that doesn't say conceptual on it? Yep. Whoever. Six things. Anybody else? 
All in favor? We'll with one other question. Okay. Um, somewhere, I, I can't find it at the moment, but somewhere I recall there's a, a requirement that where a commercial zone abuts a residential zone, there has to be. Um, yes, but that's not part of the checklist. That's part of the, uh, that it is part of the requirements, yes. There has to be a buffer here of some sort. But I thought it was larger than the 30 feet that he had. To be honest, I don't know right now. Okay, but that's not <laughs> a requ that's not a requirement for, for acceptance. Got it. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions? How's that on the requirement for acceptance? It's not. It's not more than that. No, no, it's not part of the. It's not part of the application. And his question is, it, it's part of the site plan regulations, but it's not part of the checklist that's required for acceptance of the application. But if in fact he can't meet that requirement or needs to get a waiver, oh, I see what you're okay. he's got to deal with it. Yeah, right. it has to be dealt with at some point. Right, but not yet. Right. Okay, we have a motion on the table to accept the application as complete. All those in favor? Against? Aye. 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 Abstain? Abstain. Okay. So your application was not accepted. The vote was 301. Zero, zero, I want to continue this. Pardon me? Do we need to continue this or is it? No, we're done. We're done? It was not accepted. Okay. Technically, new uh, new butter notification, anything else? I understand about the butter notification. I think you can, we can probably waive the new application fee and things, right? Mr. Chairman? Well, of course. Would you care to ask the yes, applicant that's what I was getting to. if he understands what's necessary and if he has any questions? I hope he does, but I will ask. Do you understand, sir? I do. I, I guess I don't understand. I don't know who Carr is. Who Carr is? I don't know why he, he's not on the letter. He's a wetly, the wetly. Anybody who stamps the plan has to be notified as if they are in a butter. So Tom Carr and Art Cecilia and I both have to be notified. That's part of the RSA 483, I think it is, whatever. So you'll have to resubmit your plan. I would suggest that you speak with Keith about that. And try and get this a little less fragmented in the application form. So I'm sure we can, I'm sure we can waive the application fee and things like that for you the second time around. But so new application and new abutters. And you walk to face the butter certified mailings again. Can I ask a question here? Sure. So butters for this particular thing have no it's not it's not the time to be posing questions and so That forth. is correct. The application was was rejected as not being complete. So he's done. You'll get you'll get a new notice. You'll get a new notice, all right. nine yards. Thank you. The process will start all over again. I'm gonna take a guess that you are Prue. No, actually, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> He's the gentleman next door. <laughs> Either way, the application will be resubmitted and you will get new notifications. At your, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Second item on the agenda is a subdivision for Morgan Rice, tax map 404, lot 168, south side of Sh Shady Hill, with a residential zone. And unless you want to see justice being dispensed, you don't have to stay any longer. That looks good. He's got Tom on this one. <laughs> He's got Tom and Art on this one. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah.
Is this the one that had the steep driveway? No, we haven't even looked at this one yet. Okay. Well, you haven't. Well, you drive some, by it every day. Some, <laughs> some of us drive by it twice a day and see surveyors out there on Saturdays. I heard you drove by. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this one's pretty flat. Yeah, it <laughs> yes. I even think the monuments are set along the frontage, if I remember right. There was some orange paint on the stone walls below the snow. <laughs> not easy to set this time of year. No, nope, they are. <laughs> we were setting some the other day, not fun. I know it's not. <laughs> Get test pit results. Everything that I have, you've got there. No, I'll see anything here. Were they submitted to the state? It's up in for approval now. Yeah, that's good. Looks like everything on the checklist is there. Yeah, looks like it to me. Is that a motion? It is. I'll make a motion to accept the application as complete. Do we have a second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Your application is accepted as complete. Come on up, sir, and tell us all about it. Here we go. Time, but <laughs> yeah, this room isn't set up very good yeah, for fur butters to see the map. Also, it's I don't know why what we could do different, but well, you could put it over on this side. No, it's still hard. Then it's hard for still hard for them to see. Same uh, wet line stamp as the last plane. Yeah, I already I circled that. Too. <laughs> oh, like the proposed house? <laughs> no, we're talking about the date and the stamp. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get an updated one from Tom. Would you I, notify? I figured I hear about that. I figured I hear about that all night long. He's, he's notified, so that's. <laughs> you know, he knows this. Yeah, I mean, he did it. We got the bill, believe me. <laughs> um, so, it's pretty straightforward. It's a three-lot um, subdivision. It's based on you know this uh, re most restrictive lot size, um, soil size there. So they all meet that. Uh, I can see I can read my notes upside down. It's going to be on-site water and septic. Um, Meets the requirements for frontage and areas. 
you know, I don't really know what to, really not much more to say about it, you know. So are all the monuments set? No, not yet. I'm okay. in the process of setting them. I'll have that. I knew your address area. That's why. I, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I asked. Well, my guy can't show up. It snows two inches in the morning, so I don't get so. Oh. Like, I'm losing days like crazy. The one thing I see is the it doesn't appear the 50 foot setback is around the wetland on lot 168.2. You got the wetland and the buffer, but not the 50 foot setback. Oh, okay, I got. Put on 168. I put 168. 168. What are you looking at? Two. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Oh. Is that, no, it's, uh, I see it right there. Oh, up front. Oh, up front. This well, one comes on the side. Maybe it doesn't. This one. Yeah, it comes in. No, no, no. Look here. Hey, oh, yep. Look over here. This one. Yeah. That one here? No. This one. Oh, this one right here. That one. Well, Yeah, it looks like you have it around the other one. Yeah, they're on the other. Yeah, they're on the other, they're on the other two or three. Because it, it made the setbacks kind of funny around the lot. That's what it's right. To that. And the words "proposed house," which you mentioned, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I caught that one this morning as I was yeah. preparing my card. <laughs> that happens. You make a block and you start copying it. And the drafters are all distracted. It happens. Yes. I think the sunshine is distracting his drafting. Grandkids. And we're going to need a note about the buffer. We always have that on about the wetland buffer. Okay. Wetland buffer note. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure if you look at some other plans. Yeah. Art's done. It's there. Okay. You can ask. Just this is kind of a whirlwind submission. You've got a um, long, fairly long driveway on that one lot. Yeah, the house out back. Is there some reason why the house is going there as opposed to where? I don't care about that. What, what I was getting at was the driveway regulations. Yeah, the driveway regulations get over 400 feet specified. Passing, long, long, you know, passing area and a turnout and that kind of thing. So it fits over 400. Was it 400 feet? 400. So because you, it's you need the driveway has to be wide, so ambulances can pass. If it's over, thought it was 300. You have to have a turnaround at the end, but that's not a big deal. But because so, because it exceeds that, is there any chance you could kind of sketch a driveway in with those details on there? I think it's already 36. I could. Uh, I think that could be added. Sketching it now. No, I mean, you because you're going to have to come up with yeah, a buffer on there. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then do a little grading on there. But yeah. You know, well, we don't care about the, I'm not too worried about the grading. It's the geometry you have to have, it has to fatten up for Pass. coming well, from a certain distance. I don't know. It's fairly flat there, so the geometry is not How about a note rather than, rather than showing it? Yeah, okay. Like a note to be. Um, driveway meets log driveway specifications. Is, is the driveway, can the driveway be built and meet that and accommodate that requirement? I'm sure it can. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I'd just like to put everybody on notice that needs to be built. Doing that log, usually we're just coming off the road. So right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. That's a nice spot. I just don't want to. Have, I'm trying to avoid showing a driveway on here, and then coming back to the board to see the driveway because it's different. Right. If it's a note, I can say yes. The note's there. Okay. I think I think a note saying the driveways must. Or or the third. Please look at the Article 36. Because yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, at 400 feet, it triggers a, uh, appearance at the Board of Fireworks as well. 
I think a no, uh, should we make a note about the stone wall being having to go selecting for the stone wall for breaking through it? Yes. Has anybody, any boards comment on this Conservation Commission? Anybody? Conservation Commission did not hold their meeting. It's in the, their box up there. The rest of the boards, nobody said a word. Police, fire, highway, they've all had it for a month. Or two weeks, anyway. <clears throat> One day. Chairman, if, if uh, subsequent to approval, um, the applicant decided to move the proposed houses to different areas, would that require them to come back to the board? No. So the location of the houses is just to show a possibility. It's not a commitment. Correct. Thank you. The test pit can be moved, or test pit, beach field, house, well, or all. That's just proven that the suitable area is works. there for it. It means a lot works. I mean, it almost looks like he's going to go through the wall on every on every lot. Yeah, it does. Yep. There's one gapway in there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, we're not wide enough for a driveway. It? A lot of deer tracks through that gap, by the way. I think we're in yeah, the summer time. There's a deer stand out halfway there. Just, just let you know, a lot of deer go through a little gap in the stone wall right there. Watch what you plant in your yard. <laughs> does anybody from the public have any questions, comments? You have to come to the audio uh, podium, please, to state your name so the you put in the minutes correctly. I'm just, I, I don't know enough about these maps to, to understand everything that's on them. And, uh, state uh, your name, please. Sorry. Sorry. My name is Jason Finney. Yep. Uh, I'm on the um, this lot up here. Across the road in the old house. Yep. Um, so anyway, so I was, it was hard to see on the on the map, copy of the map that I had, but I was curious as to what this, um, what that was all. Right here is. Yep. That's a culvert that crosses, that drains a sweat area across the road. An existing, an existing, uh, existing culvert. It's an existing culvert? That is cool, I just told you, excuse me. It doesn't say does it? Because I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of it if it's okay. existing. <laughs> Talk about that 12 inch one right in the middle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to look at my field book on that one, but uh, I can recall off the top of my head, but. Not, I don't think we're supposed to install any colors, that's for sure. Okay. So I will verify if that's not a culvert that I'm looking for. I know the water backs up in there quite a bit in the spring. Yeah, so I mean, so I, the, I'm, the, just, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think, because it's been a while since I did the, did the field work on that one. And I, I yeah, if it's only 12 inches of wood, it would take well, it would be, <laughs> And it would be up a little bit, uh, the bottom of the wetland is lower than the culvert would be also, right. so. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's been a while since I did it. Yeah. No, I, th I think the culvert's up a little higher than the very bottom of that wet area. Okay, yeah, it's because yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little dam there. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. I drive by there twice a day. I look at it a lot. I don't think we're, we're okay. not proposing any cul culvert no. or anything on that's for sure. So that's okay. it's either there, it's either there. It's like I said, it's been a few months since I did that field work. Okay. So, <laughs> so that's super fresh in my mind. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't get down there that very often. <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I would assume this will be shot in. Okay. It's been a while. <laughs> all right, then that's that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put a proposal? I don't think we'd be called really impressive. Yeah, like I said, I, I couldn't see the, the the map or the version of the map that I received oh, yeah, in the mail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get the one I guess it's the registry. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Seeing none, I close the public comment. This um, westerly lot line, it's right through the wet area. This jagged one here, right through the wet area. Just, you talk about it. I think it goes along the brook. Yeah, it's down the center line of the brook yeah, or something. Line, yeah, it's a brook. Yeah. The, the, the deep call there is a brook. Could, the brook. could you put a, um, 
from that rear monument to be set and the front corner monument to be set, could you put a tie line across there with a bearing of distance on it? Oh, just a straight tie, you know, from end to end? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a tie course there to there. I'm not going to ask you about monument every corner in the brook. Yeah, we'll <laughs> a couple of rocks that could put drill holes in maybe, you know, yeah. underwater drill holes. You put a, how, how big a brook is that? It's pretty, you know, it's, I don't know. As wide as this table? Yeah, it's, maybe yeah. A little bigger. it's, it's, it's you know, flows, it's got a pretty decent flow that goes through it, but it's, it's and, pretty, it's actually nice. And it makes those 90 degree bends? Yeah, just kind of, it's really kind of flat there, so it kind of hits, it hits rocks and kind of, there's a base of, there's a slope side there, a base of a big slope, and, flat, and it kind of cuts in, so it, <coughs> kind of bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's a little smoother than that, but. That eventually goes down to Perkins Pond? I don't know the outlet for that. I didn't have the watershed. Almost has to. And there's a 48 inch culvert there? Yeah, it's a huge one. I mean, there's quite a, I think there's quite a good shrink flow that comes through there, it looks like. House across the street is the. His house is very, very, yeah, yours is very, very old. Was that 1783 or something like that? So, yeah, so I, might, I think it might have been a, the dam site over there, a mill site at one point for the day, mill, a, mill operations. A pond that, uh, yeah. That actually has a runoff that comes into the pond. And then it goes oh, like a, it's out of the swamp on the other side of the road. Yeah. Goes across to so that, yeah, so Shady does, Hill into that pond you're talking about. Pretty steady about. flow goes through there. Then so goes back old, into this. Old mill site back yes. in the That 17, pond 18. was sufficient to power a mill? Uh, I doubt that. Very oh. Maybe one oh, I thought you said there was a mill site there. Well, it's like a, a no, race. No, it's like a raceway. It looked like it was. It's like a raceway. I mean, maybe at one time they had. Some, maybe they just diverted for. You know, they, it looked like there was a um, like a pond on the other side. So it's like a mill pond. Hard to tell, but just speculating what was done. These, the crazy colonials, as I call them. You got any comments? Questions? I get eight things. Should I list them before the motion or after? <laughs> uh, part of the motion. So you want me to make the motion? Well, set nine things. Ten things. Okay, I'm going to make a motion to approve the application pending the following conditions. One, adding a note about the wetland buffer. For Article 20... 28.9. Right. Doesn't sound right. I was thinking 27. Right. 29 is aquifer. 27... 28.9 is, is a buffer of native vegetation. Yes. Is that the one you mean? Yes, basically recite 28.9 in the wetland. In Thank the you, Neil. I rest my case. <laughs> you said 30. No, I no he said 28.9. He was oh, right I on. I thought you said 29. No, he was right on. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I apologize then. Number two, NHDES subdivision approval. Noted on the plan also. Number three, oops, I guess this number three is actually a note on the plan stating that, oh, yes, I do have number three, the driveway, a note stating you have to meet Article 36, 36. 36 for the driveways. Thank you. Number four. That's in reference to the removal of the stone walls? No, that's in reference to the length of the driveways, and the pull-offs, and the turn-offs, and the radiuses, and turnarounds. Number four is a note saying that this, Approval from the selectman is required to remove the stone wall along the frontage for a driveway. So you have to go to the selectman. The selectman have you come to us for a recommendation that we recommend to the plan to the selectman whether you to remove the stone walls. You have to show us the location on a plan. Typically, you put a stake in the ground saying, "Here's the center line of the driveway." You do that as part of getting your building permit. It, yeah, driveway that's, permit. yeah, yeah that's not part of this approval. That's just part of the note. driveway permit application. Number five, the monuments to be set. Number six, can you double check on that culvert yep. and add the word existing if it's there? Yep. If, you, sure the, it's if there. you add the word existing, it'll make him happy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. check. <laughs> Number seven, a new uh, Mr. Carr has a recent stamp. Yeah, a recent stamp. i got to get that updated anyways. 
number eight. Can you add a note saying property line follows the brook? Because it's not really clear. Okay. And add that tie line. Tie line. Jeez, I'm surveying. I couldn't think of tie line. A tie question. Yeah. Number nine, the 50 foot wetland setback on lot six, 168 2. Number 10, remove the words proposed house on 168 2. Did I miss Second. Oh, okay. Thank you. Discussion. What did I miss? Bury dispelled wrong. That one 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 R and buried stone wall along here. <laughs> and this is just a drafting preference. When your setbacks are on outside corners. <laughs> Instead of it drawing a square, it should be radius. All of them, yeah. You've just got them drawn square, not 50 foot rate, uh, 25 foot radiuses. Fill it or. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure you just offset, offset, trim, trim is what that one was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Congratulations. The next item in the agenda is a lot line adjustment for Sean and Denise Hawks about four oh eight lot one eighty four and one eighty four point one. And how do you pronounce that? Evangeline Wilson, 19 General Watch Road, map 411-157. Brandon and Melissa Hawks, map 411-157-1. In the Rural Conservation and Residential Zones. The next item on the agenda is the Hawks lot line adjustments. <laughs> I assume he's presenting that also. What? I assume he's presenting the other one too? Yes. You want to grab him and bring him in here, please? You're up. Hawks. Well, you're not up yet. We haven't accepted. Right, yeah, we yeah. haven't accepted you as complete yet, but we want to make sure you're here. Request for wetlands, topo, soils. The waiver request doesn't ask, but the checklist does for a waiver for setbacks also. Yeah, the scale with the scale yeah, of the plan, you really. Well, nothing's moving. This is no good construction. I mean, all that. Scale of the plan is pretty hard to show the setbacks. I don't understand. I, I could uh, 
Well, let's get let's get the okay. let's get com complete before we get to understanding. We don't need to, <laughs> we don't need to understand yet. <laughs> I guess. No, it's it appears to be complete. Except, well, first the waiver on those four items, which I don't have a problem with. We usually waive those for lot adjustments. Like you in there that large a piece for contour soils, wetlands, and setbacks. Make a motion we grant the full waivers for contours, soils, topo, and setbacks. What? Yes. Wetlands. Could could you explain why? Uh, second the motion. Could you explain why? He's very large pieces that he's doing a lot line adjustment for. He's not coming anywhere near minimum lot sizes on anything. Yeah, exactly. But until we know the purpose of this, how do we know whether or not he's, those waivers are appropriate? He's well, the lots are 100, or 100 and 239 acres, 20 acres, 5 acres, and 12 acres, so they're fairly large lots. Is this a subdivision? No. No. But it's effectively a subdivision. Four lots now and four lots later. Yeah, but some of the lots now are one kind of lot, and some of the lots later are another kind of lot, so... If, if we waive this now and later decide that we need the information, can we yes. require it? Yes, we can. Then it's not an issue. All in favor? Aye. 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 Did you make a motion to accept this complete also, Bruce? Is that what I heard? Well, that was going to be next. <laughs> we make a motion we Aye. accept the application as complete. Second. Aye. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, now what are you trying to do? All right, let me. There's nobody here in the audience, if you could point yeah. that towards us. So, yeah, I just want to get some highlights. Um, so, we've got. If you want to sit over here. <laughs> so, parcels A, B, C, D, and E around here. But long and the short, if parcel A goes to lot 184, B, C, and D are going to be um, to the, the larger lot 184.1. E and F go to 157.1 one right here, leaving the remainder of a five acre lot for the, the, house, the existing house is. How about, how about if you start making it simple for all of us and take a highlighter, whichever color you prefer? Do you want to see the parcels or the final outcome? Because if I do the, way both, little, the way they are today. The way they are today. What you have on the bottom, is that what there is today? No. What we have today is this lot extends. See the, the one, this what, lot Just do it, do it with yeah, colors. Yeah, do, do, it, do it in orange. What so is today? This, today's lot. The way it is now. Looks like that, that, this is, this. This one goes out that way. He's going to get messed up too. And falls out. And out to the back, and then this one came in and went. Let's see, it goes out, out, out this way. Just hit it out that way, and that's and that goes to the very left. That goes to the. the mm -hmm. So here's that. This whole section with the you know, take those little ones I went in, and that was all into this that back section here. I mean, that was all onto this. To this to, uh, Let, let's try something else. Where, <laughs> where is where is uh, Knox Road? Knox Road is right on the front here. And that's where the house is. They have the house sits right there. And the frontage on that. Yeah, and that okay. Stretched out. We have, we have a lot, bunch of long, skinny lots. Well. Right. Wasn't isn't this the lot where they had a ten foot strip yes. along the edge to connect a couple of things? Yep. There's there's a little there's all right. So you have this little yeah this little yeah little strip that goes. This is a parcel A. Kind of runs along that lot here. You see the shape of the parcel right here. Runs along there. That's going to be, you know, that kind of came in. This this lot actually didn't have any. It had a driveway easement. It didn't, it didn't go to the road. 
the, the lot back here, 184, had an easement across, the existing right away across, um, actually that went that way, across, you actually, that's how it went up like that, for about a plus away, and down here. And that went across the, um, the original 157. So that, this parcel A is gonna become part of that. Make this, you know, when it gets done, it's a much neater. I think if you put them all back together, you look at the final product, it's, it's, it's this, this is the final product, basically. Yeah, it cleans it, it cleans it up. This is what, this is kind of what you're gonna, if you look at the, the two, this is what we're gonna end up in the end. Now, this is gonna have, yep. this is gonna go all the way to the road, have front is there. This is gonna leave a five acre, let's like a lane through here that used to go in the back. So this is gonna leave that five acre lot with the house up there. This guy is getting some pieces where, you know, there was, um, you know, the, 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 we're just like actually almost being used because they were family property, you know what I mean? We'll make it because, you know, because uh, then this. When you say this guy, is there an existing yeah, building well, on that? Yes, there's, there's houses. If you look at here, there's a house. There's, there's no new buildings yet. There's a home here. There's a home here. There's a home here. This is at the top of the So house. you're going to have lot 184 with frontage on General Knox. One, yes, one, right, one, 150, 44 feet of frontage. Now. Right. 157 is going to have the frontage. 157 one's going to have frontage yeah, on sure. General Knox. But 184 one is going to have frontage on Brown Ridge. Yeah, and that's a big back. That's just that's just back land. I think that they use for you know um, mixed serving. You know, they, they do a, they have a sap house there and pumps and stuff like but that. But is is but what about that ten foot strip? It's going away. It's, yeah, it's yeah, going away. but that was put there for a very specific reason. Is this an end run around that? I don't remember why it was put there. It was some sort of a subdivision. Oh, this piece here, this long one going on there. Yeah, why was that? It put was an in? access to a very old lane right here. This is the biggest stone wall I've ever seen in my life. It's about twenty feet wide. It's, it's about ten feet tall. It's like you feel like a little pusher when you get on to locate it. You know, and there was I think at one point when it was more agricultural land. There's an old snowmobile trail that goes down to there. I don't know. And this was part of a different survey. There were some pieces here, and it's owned by all of them. It's not. It's, I don't think it was to benefit. It was to benefit. The only easement that's going away is there's an easement here that's being removed. But that's. It was just there for, I mean, I don't know what it's, I don't think it was an official. So, place, right now, there are four lots, three of which have houses. Yep. When we're all finished, there will be four lots, three of, three three of which, which will have houses. Yep. So what we're doing is reallocating the existing land differently from the way it's now allocated. Yes. So Basically, you're taking all the back land. You're and taking giving the back land and leaving a, 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 you know, a, a five-acre service, you know, that meets regulation lot up front for the, for the home. I think that home is going to probably be sold in the future. I don't know for sure. Yeah, but, um, but this had a, these, all these lots are kind of weird. They reach way back into the, you know, the yeah, long, so this, deep. long, skinny, deep lots. What's, what's the purpose of this? Why are we making a change? Well, there's a few reasons. This will give this road, this front edge where his driveway is. This well, house, say, say that again. This, this parcel A will let this guy come down to the road. Now, he just has an easement to here. His, his lot lines are actually back here on 184. Okay. So that'll break. So that's just a right away across. It's all family. It's just like family land over right. the years. This, the original, the original size, I can't remember what the original size of 157 is, but I, you know, they, I, I believe that they want to just leave enough for the house lot there. They don't, they want to keep the back land for their own use. This is rural agricultural? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so he needs five acres. Yes, yeah, that's why we chose to, you know, we cut it okay. down to specific. And then, and the third lot? And the third lot just had, there's some distance, you know, with, with the property kind of come over here before, it, had, like, it was kind of, you know, it was like, it was not like the frontage wasn't great, so we just kind of cleaned it all up so that, you know, so that these lots, over the years, there, you know, this makes it much cleaner, you know, there's some parking area there that was, you know, that was, it was, we just cleaned up some of the lines, you know, the inside But there. that hammerhead is, in, is, um, let's, is unusual, isn't this it? This here? No. On lot 157.1, 5.02 acres, there's a hammerhead at the front where it abuts General Knox Road. Oh, this thing over here? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little piece that comes out of that. That Dahlberg, we could look at a, a, a different plan. Um, we're monument up there. Is yes. that the way it is now? Yeah, there's just wall down in there. It's, you know, there's, yeah, that's, this is the, that's the... No, but this shape. Is this the existing yes. shape of this area? No, that will be the, that's going to be the final shape of the area. No, it's existing today, too. This. The parcel F, that parcel F on this side is going to be No, he's talking about the little piece that sticks out in front of a lot. Yes. That piece right there. Nope. Yeah, this, down. I think this part is the down, little down, bottom piece. Down. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that yeah, that's a little, it's a little wall. It's actually, it's actually wall. There's a wall that kind of goes down there makes it a little... You know, twenty foot. You know, you know, jog. It comes back. It comes back the other way. That is an existing part of an existing lot. That, this is right here. Yeah, that's off of a different. We pulled that off of another reference plan. So what you're the change that you're making is adding land 
to the this, rear of that. This is being added here. This little section through here is being added to that lot. So you get your frontage. Yeah. Well, I just you need to be cleaned up. And this little section here and, and this little section here is being added to that lot, too. And uh, okay. that saves Now, me. does the big, the, the big remainder, that is the one that has frontage on Brown, Brown Ridge Road? No, yeah. Okay. And is there some reason why that back part of the top lot, I can't see it, but... What are you saying? Raise your finger up. Yep. Move toward you. Yeah, that section. Yep. What, what is happening to that? This lot, so this this kind of comes out this way now. I think, you know, this is the one eighty four 184.1. We're just going to cut. This is going to draw the property line from this wall corner over to this other wall here. So this is going to end up looking like... Looking like that when it's done, kind of a clean lot, you know, that, that lot of shape there. I'm trying to see the existing lot on that one. I, 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 I okay. Um, maybe you can... I'm having a hard time, but I think I got it figured out. Okay. Um, these all abutters list really shouldn't be here. should be over here. This is, this is part of the map, right? This section is part of what they're doing. Yes. No, no, this isn't. That's, that's, the, that's the... Yes, that oh, is. Oh, it's inside the, the end of that, yeah. That, yeah, that, that, the that is part of yeah. what... Okay. The, the whole area bounded by stone walls in which the abutters list is written, that whole section, is part of what lot? That is 184.1. That's the, the big back lot. 239.53. Oh, all this is going to be 184.1. Okay. Just a second. No, he's saying that. Yeah, that's all 184.1. From this line right here, we're cutting this off right here. Yeah, the other one stops right on here. Right here is the back of that or the front one. This, this line right here. Is, is all of this one? I'm, I'm no, very good. This lot here is going to be one. Got it. This lot's going to be one. Yep. And if you look, then this lot with the hammer is going to be one. one so there, like there is a piece that comes down through yeah, here. Yeah, 184 one actually comes. This is this is and like the, the tip of 184 one. Right, which which I think is some of the confusion. Yeah, that's why. And as we, yes. we I meant to, I meant to illustrate that. This that's why it applies. This this is all <coughs> lane. Let, let's try something else first. This what's happening to this? It's getting more a lot. Most of all, it's, it's getting, getting bigger. Because this because this lot is giving up some land. This lot is giving up some land. This lot is actually getting bigger, I think. This one gets bigger. So it's, getting big, it's getting that piece, but it's losing this piece. Yeah, but the one with the, with the hammerhead on it. Oh, yeah, that one's getting up. That one's getting bigger. It's getting a sliver over in here, and it's getting this front piece right in here. It's kind of squaring up the okay. lines. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a slanted line. It was put through there. Kind of squared, it's kind of squared okay. about. So let me see. This squiggle plus all of this is lot 184.1 and it's 240 acres. Right, that's yeah. Farmington Brown Hill Road. That I don't see. Down here where your hand is. No, I got that. Is is this and this part of the same lot? Yes. So the fact that that's there's. That's all one, that's all, this all is one big lot now. Because you get one, two, three, four. And, yeah, that and, he, and this is in, uh, this is conservation. Yeah. And this is not conservation, but it's part of the same lot. Right. And this is not part of conservation, part of the same lot. No, it says rural conservation right there, so no, I don't that's know. That's not part of the same lot. That's not part of it. I think that's a different lot. To somebody it is to, or not? Belongs to somebody else. I don't think that's part of the development. Oh, right, yeah. This one. Here. This, this, yeah. this yeah, goes with this. So that's a tax. That's tax lot 157. Yeah, too. That, that belongs to somebody right. else. Back 10 acres of mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to him. So the access to the 200, the 125 plus 239, is that little pathway between 157.2? No, that's a building setback he's showing. That's not a pathway. So where's the frontage? Right here. That, that but you said he doesn't own this. No, he owns this. But not this. Right. Got it. The oh. road is not diagrammed properly. The fire department had that road extended to take that entire horseshoe. So when you look at where the frontage could be, the road actually is much larger circle. It's a it's a a large yeah that was oval oval that was what, so last year the year before the two years ago two years ago I think that came off the so the adjustment they're they making will give them quite quite a bit of frontage I think on that oval and there's already a, a um, 
driveway cut or whatever, that goes down and there's a pipe that bar gate that goes across it to prevent motorized vehicles from going down there. So, I mean, I know he, he came up and told me what he was doing. Yeah. Um, and I'm okay with all of that. I just did not understand the paperwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, did don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't now. I don't, well, I'm did, just stupid. No, it's, no, it's, a, it's a little, it's quite what did What did Sean tell you as to um, why he was doing this? Basically, uh, it's something about they always wanted to move, a house, move the house. Now, I don't know if that's still true or not, but they did have the cable come down there. I saw the electricity and cable people come down and look at things. So my, my real question is, it's not just a lot adjustment. What's the end game? And, and I just want to know. That's all. I don't really, maybe I don't, I don't get to know just now, and that's fine. Maybe you don't either because you're not being. Well, actually, we haven't opened this to public comment yet, so hang on a sec. <laughs> I was asked. We're, st we're still confused. I've got to ask, who, who has a conservation easement? Who, who has the easement? Uh, I see, I, I think that's right. Uh, I know the conservation easement. I think it's on 1.1. Because that's, you know, they use that for, like I said, for sugaring and stuff. But uh, conservation easement. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a conservation easement. It's not here 1.1. Yeah, but who's the holder of the easement? Oh, I mean, what, 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 what who's it? Yeah, it's just, like, yeah. As far as I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, shouldn't they be notified? Well, that's where I was going. Unfortunately, that's where I was going. If it's not the town of Ware, because the town of Ware got notified. I do not have the answer to that question, I will tell you. I think it is the town of Ware. Yeah, it might be the town of Ware. I, I think it might be too, but I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. I, let's, let's hope it was. I mean, it wouldn't make any difference. Well, because well, yeah, the town of Ware got notified, but. If it was something, if it was a dip, like we say on yeah, the, if it's Southern Hampshire or, uh, or something yeah, like that, something that, like that or right. Piscataquag or whoever, right, they, right. they need notified. Okay. Rural conservation. So we got, I'm going to stick with sheet one because it, Okay. Shows yeah, the, it shows the whole thing. Yeah. We got a zone line going through it with the frontage towards General Knox's rural ag and the land in the back is, has, it should be rural, rural agriculture with a conservation overlay district. Yeah. And then we got the little piece on Brown Ridge that's residential, I assume. Oh, yeah, come out here. What's in front of the stone wall? Yes, because it says residential over there to the left, way to the left. The only reason I'm saying all that is because when I read the notice, it says rural conservation and residential zones. Rural ag. Yeah, there's a conservation overlay district, right? Yeah, the rural, rural ag is a frontage towards no towards General Knox, whatever that distance is. Yeah, there's a little apple farm across the street in there too. So like a, do we actually have a rural conservation? No, that's what I was getting at. Oh. That, should, that should be rural rural agricultural. Con no, con rural conservation, conservation overlay. This yes, is what it's called. Right. Okay, Article rural. Thirty. But it's actually a rural. It's a rural agricultural with a rural conservation overlay district. It has an overlay over top of the rural agricultural. You're district. correct. That's right. And then you have the residential district, I believe, on Brown Ridge Road. I believe. You ought to be finding that on here pretty slim, but I'm going to try. Yes, I found it. Um, what are the limitations that the Rural Conservation Overlay District imposes on the underlying Rural Agricultural District? It doubles the amount of land that you need. Where is that? Is that under 14? I don't think it does. It used to. It used to right. before the it five does. acre. Right. Because what they did right. was it used to be a two acre requirement in the Rural Ag 
and the rural ag conservation overlay made it four acres. Right. For a, for and then we lot. went to five in rural they ag. They went to five, and George Millette argued till the cows came home that five, that he didn't understand that five was bigger than four. So, so, so what we did. They left the rural conservation overlay in place, even though the amount of land in rural ag is now greater. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. You, you're right, but you stopped. You stopped, stopped too soon, because then we changed it again. First, I got to find the page. I think you gave greater density in a what subdivision for the for the rural, rural conservation overlay. Is page? Uh, it's Article Thirty, page forty-nine. That was close. There's, there's nothing in there because we deleted section 30.4 on the next page. So the only thing it says is permitted uses and special exceptions. There don't seem to be any restrictions unless they're somewhere else, like in Article 14. I don't think there was any restrictions. There's no restrictions, but that, in, the difference is it doesn't get the 10% density bonus or 20% density bonus for a cluster. Because that's only in that's the... That's only in the rural ag. When we gave the five acre zoning to rural ag, we included the 20% density bonus. That well, that's not an issue here. No. When we took out 30.4, that was the four acres. So rural conservation and rural ag are both five acres, and rural conservation does not get the density bonus. You are correct. So there is a difference. Everybody keeps saying there's not, but there is. Because somebody over there wants to get rid of the whole zone completely, and you can't do that. I'll leave her nameless. Okay. Anyway. Oh, no, she was inspired by me. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> let, let me so ask you this. You won't say nameless. Oh, yeah. You keep trying to get rid of it. Currently, there are four buildable lots without this application, right. of, of which three have houses on them and right. one does not. Should this be approved, we will still have four buildable lots, of which three have houses on them and one does not. Thank you. Do, do you have any idea why this, um, you have it outlined in purple? Yeah, why is that there? There's a big lane. This, this, you know, where this house was, this is, this is, I guess these walls, this is like kind of a, 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 quite a, a wild piece. I think this goes back, you know, many hundreds of years. There's like kind of a lane that ran out through there, and I think was, it was the access. To, I think you have some place like the village lots. You have some frontage up front, and they have a, the farmland out back. Yeah. You see those lot areas. They have a little bit of frontage, and I think that was what that was. Is this was all access? So. But my question is, why, in, when they were su resubdividing this, they basically, keep, they wanted to keep this lane with this land. They just wanted the five. For acres. what reason? For you know, just because because they like it. This they wanted five acres on this. Because it's theirs. <laughs> it's mine. I don't want to get rid of it. Right. They want you know, They want the five acres oh. with this house, and they, you know, if that you know, if that's going to go someday, and they, this is part of this. They like. They just kind of liked how that was all connected to it. There's not really an easement to. I mean, you can't really come across here to get to that area, but it, they just wanted to keep the lane. That was requested to keep the lane with you know, to put the to put the lane with the with the with the larger lot, the bigger lot. These other lots are just getting. Kind of little pieces to clean them up. They, most of it was going to. And that's the way the lot. You know, most of it's going to that to that real lot. It's okay. Just, and one other question. Um, I'm looking at 184 after. Mm -hmm. It says it's 12 acres, mm -hmm. but visually it seems to be the same size as 157.1, which is 5.02 acres after. No, 157.1 is. 12.87 acres after. So you're correct. It, it does visually appear the same because they're, they're both 12 acres. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm on the before rather page, than page the after. Oh. oh, it says after. Yeah, they're both about they're, they're two 12 acre lots. Yeah. Go, go, go back to page one. Yep, yeah, for current use. Imagine current use applications. You have room to take out the house. 184 up in the upper right. It says 12.11 acres after lot line adjustment. Yeah. The next one says 5.02. Oh, that's a bad, that's a, that is a typo. Is that, okay. That should be here. That should be there. That's what, that was a copy. He copied that over and did not draft that one. I whoa, whoa, whoa. That's okay. Correct. All of, all of so the. So after <clears throat> one, I will correct that. After lot line adjustment, this one will be 157.1 is 12.87 acres after lot line adjustment. That is a typo. Good catch, Neil. So this should be, I will correct that. This one here should be. I'm getting confused again. <laughs> you, 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 I, 
I, if I think about it really simply, the way I said that a, a goes to one. Well, yeah, but you're, you're. This is 12. This is, should be. This should read uh, 12.7. So okay, you want me to confuse you some more with another question? Sure. This is from Wendy. Okay. On plan number 37137, done by Mr. Sistiano on 2011. Lot 184 has 20.4 acres, and all of a sudden now he's saying it has 12.4 acres it's prior, has 20. existing today, it has 20.4 acres. Where, where is the lot line for prior to subdivision? 12.4. Yeah. Note, note 2. So note 2. Lot 184 says 12.4. There is uh, prior, yeah, that is probably also a because if you're looking at it, this this lot line comes out and went out it went out this way. I don't really I don't really follow this. Now, I, I I'll be honest. The, the, the field work I did was in this was in this section of it. So um, this is a new line here. So I think if this lot line is eliminated here. It goes out here. So yeah, I think that if you look at this. Yes, that's this map. This was this parcel C is coming from. Parcel C is coming from 184 actually and going to 184.1. And that is 12.42. So 12.42 and whatever that was before. 20.4. Yeah, that would be, so it was probably eight. This was probably whatever that was because you didn't have this piece here. So maybe that was eight and that would be 20.4. Well, that, I'll show you that one. I figured that, I figured that one out there. So this is. No, something doesn't work. Okay. Let's see if I can make this make sense to me too. Uh, this one's a little bit. I didn't. This. This. 184. Ha hang on. Just 184 after lot line adjustments. 12.11 acres. Yep. Parcel C is 12.42 acres. Yep. 12.42 plus 12.11 is pretty much 12.53 or 20, right, 20, piece, 25 three. Right. Parcel A here of 4.13 acres is now is not part of uh, 184 right now. It's part of it's part of um, 157. So you have to take off the four point <laughs> Yeah, I get close to twenty. You have to, yeah, then you have yes. to take, you have okay. to take off the four point. Yeah. Is that, so we're adding that on. I know this is this was a this is a mind stretcher right here. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you got a month's worth of work just setting monuments out there. Oh, don't! I'm almost done. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion? Sure. I would really like to see sheet two to be like. That much at 100 scale, and have a sheet three showing this at 100 scale. You got a match line. I don't see anything you're matching to. This. I don't see them. I don't know. Oh. But here's the match line up oh, right here. Oh, here. Right there. That's just. This just so yeah. beyond here is that 24.1. What line sheet two basically is focusing on the three existing yeah, parcels it's, it's, it's with too, houses. It's too, yeah, but it's too small a scale to see what's going on for me. Maybe if I had that plane, it would help. A bigger plane. Yeah, I mean, it's just this here. If you took you have the parcels out here on the side too, so you can see what the parcels are. So this parcel A is right through here. Yep. Well, there. This is a little the little rest of that kind of. Uh, that's going to be going to this one. This is and there's just another little little piece here, a little piece there, are going are out of that one. So if you look at the. It, yeah. it ends like like that. If you look at the uh, the first sheet page, it kind of just shows this is what it's all going to look like afterwards. It's a lot easier than. This is a drafting challenge. Even the end result is less confusing than the original results. It's the current situation. Did you say that they were putting in electricity and so forth, cable, oh, the from Brown Ridge Road? Road? On the Brown Ridge Road side. On the Brown Ridge Road. Side. Thank you. Which is fine. I'm not objecting to anything. No, I just wanted to make sure I understood you. A, B. A goes to A goes to A goes to one eighty four. B, right. C, and D go to one eighty four one. Where's C? C is 
Right there. Where you right up here. That was the part we're taking off of. Okay. Off of a, B, C. Great. Okay. C and D. D is the D is the, the remainder of the remainder of one fifty seven. Okay. After the place, and then you have these two little parcels, E here and F by the road, which are going into one fifty seven one. The two hatch, the cross hat, the sides slant hatch ones. There's, there's a little okay. to clean up. There's a little section there. It's kind of clean this little parking area, and this is all the put some stuff along the road there in the front. So, and you're eliminating that easement. Yeah, there's no purpose. Yeah, that's not. This is this is going to be the deed's going to be ready to get rid of that. Could you um, change the hatching so it doesn't? It's not the same hatching as the areas you're. I think yeah, I just I think it's with a lot with a wider hatching, but offset yeah. distance on that. Could you change the hatching though so it stands out a little better? Yeah, make it another angle. Yeah, twist it ninety degrees. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> something. Just, just so it doesn't look the same. Yeah, I, 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 I can see that. It's just you, know, you look at the space. I'll look at these things. All yeah, it is. A, yeah, when you're it's. That's a different question. How many acres do the existing, with respect to the parcels that have houses on them, mm -hmm. how many acres does each have currently? This one had 20 acres. This one had, uh, one had two existing uh, prior to 2057. Is, a, is a 110 acres. So this one has 110 with it. 157 one has 12, and that's actually 24 should be that should be 20. Right. And then the fourth parcel had how much? The, the fourth open. parcel prior to 184 one. 125 acres. 125, and that's the one that's going to end up 260. Just shy of 260. Yeah. So 260 or 360? Uh, 240. I got so many numbers in my head on this one. Like this one. Two thirty-nine and a half. Two thirty-nine. Yeah, here's a prior. One two twenty-five. You know, one twenty-five. Two thirty-nine. That's long. That's after. He didn't have a prior on that one. He did on that one, but he didn't. So, in order for the open lot to go from one hundred twenty-five to two thirty-nine. It's getting how much from which lots? It's getting parcel C from this lot. Which is how much? Uh, 12.42 acres. Yeah. It's getting the remainder of 157, which is after these couple of these other adjustments, which is 100, which is a uh, um, 100, 100. 100.86 acres. And I think it's getting this little sliver of land here, which is 0.33 acres, but probably kind of consequential of that. So yeah, so B, C, so I said B, C, and D. B, C, and D, which is basically the remainder of that, are all going to the larger lot to make the larger, larger lot. And then E and F go to benefit 157.1. Even 157 with 5.02 acres. And you're going to big to improve this area here because that gets this one is going to get out, not just have an easement off of Knox Road, it's going to have an actual. <coughs> um, I wouldn't mind if we looked at this again once he gets these corrections made. So we well, we, we have to notify whoever the easement holder is. We got to so we'll continue this to another, yes, and we have at least two drafting errors with the acreage we know about, right. Yep, and yeah, we've got the, uh, the area, the area, the area of we've got the uh, 184. 180, and we've got the 12.4 up there. So, yes. And if you want to make a suggestion, I mean, I can make a suggestion out about, yeah, I, can, he, he, I remember him pulling his hair out over this, you know, to get this one drafted up. It's like, it is, it's, 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 there's a lot going on. Yeah, a lot, 408, <clears throat> 184. Yep. Um, the, the prior to, there was 125, 126 acres prior to this, this lot line adjustment. Now there's 239, right? 44 watt, yes. But that doesn't, that lot isn't, it, is is this conservation easement land part of that lot? I see, yeah. There, yeah. There's is. a conservation easement on, par, on 93 acres of the 240. Okay. I think you need to show the three different zones. Okay. 
a little better. Oh, yeah, because because that section is down in the middle. Yeah, you got the little residential piece on brown. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a ridge. Yeah, that's a residential. So rural, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't stand. Yeah. And the rural conservation is an overlay district. It's still rural agriculture. Right, so that should be, yeah, so this other smoke there, that should be rural conservation. Rural overlay. Co rural agriculture with the, in the conservation district or something like that. The rural conservation overlay. Rural agriculture with a rural conservation overlay. Yeah. Yes. So this zone line here is, I guess you're saying, is, is, is actually the, the, the conservation easement zone line, not between rural agriculture and rural conservation. That zone line is the edge of the rural conservation overlay district. Right. So it's not. That's. So it's it's that zone, but this also has it shares the rural agriculture. Right. Zone. It's, yeah, a, it's a rural. Right. It's a rural. Yeah. It, it's just like having a aquifer protection district yeah. over top yeah. of rural no, agriculture. No, no, why on the on sheet one? I, I think what I find confusing is one, we basically have two views of the same of, of the same parcels. In other words, no. No, no this is the final the final lot. This yeah. is what it's going to look like at the end. That's what that looks like at the end. That's what looks like. this is this is what this one looks like in the end. But the page the two is confusing. Is no. On sheet one, you don't need that match line. That match line is confusing because it's there. Yes. Well, you it's need. Well, well it's to tell you what's going. It's, it's yeah. Finished. Yeah, but you really. Because that's the same scale. It's just that's where it goes. So it's pretty here. I know that, but you really shouldn't show the match line when everything is there. Well, everything's not there, but. I understand what the match line is for for the second sheet. Yeah, because this is just basically we could. I, mean, I, mean, I think that was done so that we would get the process would have been all that. On 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 sheet one, at the top of the top of the top of the plan, we have this lot that's 239.53 acres. Yep. We have the same the same lot right under it. That's yeah, I know. It's, this it's, is the same lot. This this lot line is being eliminated right here. Yeah, but we still this and this are one and the same. Correct. Oh yeah, right here, here, yeah. So you just take the extra label. Well, it seems like it's, something should be on another sheet of paper. I mean, it's difficult to see. This you're probably seeing. So this is probably a viewport from the from the other from the from the, from the previous one. That's that's to be that's to, the same as you're seeing. And what you see here is probably the viewport too, where it shows up twice. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could. I mean, I guess if it's drafting version, you could put that right here and eliminate that one. Or something like that. It'd be nice if we can clean it up a little bit. Yeah. I'll pass the word along. <laughs> well, the one one thing you got a waiver for the for the setback, so you can get rid of that extra line. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got a waiver for the setback. Show showing the setback, setback, setback line. Show, show the setback line. Yeah, you got a waiver for the setbacks, but let me show them. You get rid of that line. I think it was on one. It, I understand. Yeah. It's it is a confusing. It's a lot. I mean, it, there's, I a, think there's, a lot, there's a lot going on the here. The end result is, a lot, is fairly clean if you, get, if you look at the end of it. Yeah, but I'm trying to. But the fun, if you want, it's taking me a while. I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around the attorney trying to write these deeds. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that abutters list, we've got all kinds of white space on the second sheet. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah good point right there, yeah. 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 I think, yeah. Get that abutters list out of yeah, the middle of the lot. That's, no, I think that's a good I, I think I, I would definitely take that as a. Can I, can I ask a silly question? Which I think is probably silly. Is this stone wall like this? Oh, as far or as the, it, those, those, those are not, not straight. Those walls were taken from the, that was taken off of the reference plan of the survey of the survey of the whole property. Our primary survey was I didn't go past. I went up to my. I went. I wrapped around when I set those monuments. I wrapped basically up this side, down through here, and down back that way with my traverse. So this was all, and I think he said the, 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 the remainder boundary that was all taken from the previous reference plan. It says right here in the note. Um, where does it go? This off is 30 tax at 184, and the remainder of tax out 184, 157 was taken from reference plan one, which is um, a plan by Albert Land Services. It has all that, it has that information as to like the, the traffic of the walls and bearings along the walls and stuff like that from his, his ground survey. Those are all internal walls at this point. It just doesn't make sense. If, if they line up, it shouldn't be shown like that. That's all I'm trying to say. So just to reiterate, page so you didn't do any. You, you, you didn't. 
Go ahead, Chuck. Who's that? I was saying page two is what exists today. No. For the. Page two line. has both on it. It has the final lot lines. It has the parcels that are going back and forth, and the existing and the existing lines to be eliminated. So that's kind of this is the page where it kind of shows the whole swapping that's going on, and then the one at the end is what is the final outcome. This is the final outcome after a lot line adjustment for that one, of course. But so this has so like one of the lot lines comes out here now. There's another lot line that goes this way now, and all the dashed lines are, are you know, a lot of dark lot lines in there that were limited. They're actually keeping okay. those up. So, so this shows the whole process. Now I understand, I understand why he's doing this. This, is, this lot is owned by a family member. This lot is owned by a family member. This lot is owned by the mother who is older. Yep. That's going to be sold. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why it's shrunk. And then Sean keeps the rest of it. Family wants to live. 184 one, yeah. 184 one, I've got it. That's what's going on. <laughs> So he could sell this afterward and That's build his new house over here. Yeah. And the only other thing that I will point out here that we talked about is are you easement. Are you building it? Note for yeah. easement. There's some suspicion the leach field's over here, and uh, so there's an easement to maintain off the driveway. Any, anything that needs to be done in this leach field for this house here, because because this was parcel A. Um, and what other notes I had that were? And the other note that was really we talked about already was the abandonment of the um, the abandonment of the easement down here. I'm changing the handle up on that too. Looks differently than the abandonment of the easement. This one right here. There's a little easement here. Easement shown from plan to be eliminated. So they're going to eliminate this easement. Really? It was across because I think because it was I think it was to get for yours for someone to get back there. But that's oh that's not it's not needed anymore. Nobody else got a headache now. <laughs> now I got it. <laughs> I'm just not going to all figure it out again, or for a while at least. So I picked, I, if I think too hard about it. It's what, the, under the zoning requirement provided after the lot line adjustment, 184.1 says it's 150 feet of frontage. Could you show me where that is? That would be down is, on the Is that Brown Road? That's the one. Yes. That's right here. He's got 150 feet there. Yeah, so okay. Line one, line one, line two, and curve one. So here's the curve table 50, 50, 12. Now, curve one, 75, 21, 50, and 50. So. Exactly, 150. And really, it's more than it's more than 10 acres, so we can do a back lot and have 50 feet of frontage. Right. So, according to the note. You surveyed portions of 184. 184. And that's it. 150 stop. That's not what you say. Anything else you didn't? Yeah, actually, sure, so, I mean, and that's, and that, that, could, that could be up there. I, I surveyed, I'll tell you, I, I'm going to show you this. My Travis basically went up here, um, cut up behind the house here, down the hill, and then I picked up, uh, I didn't go too far, but I picked up these, uh, this drill hole out here. Um, Came back to here, so I did come across 157 <coughs> and, <coughs> one, and 184 one. I 184 one, 157 and 171. Parts, parts of those three lots actually would be correct. That would be correct because I'm sorry, I didn't go all the way to the back of um, I didn't go all the way to the back of 184. Okay, I, cut, I cut up the hill, so I backed out on this wall. So that would be 157 now, and then I kind of came across where we have a house that went out that way, 157 to 1. Picking up some all this stuff along the way, and whatever else I found with it. Dying. Yeah. So all these drill hole founds and granite bound founds and iron rods found on page 1 on the back of 184.1. They would say they should say plan if they were not actually located. He has a in this in this case we did a uh, yeah see I would oh he might well that's not necessarily true because I think art art has done some surveying out here in the past as well, so that might have been from a previous if you look at the reference plan that would have been, that might have been from a previous uh, cause he did another lot line adjustment I believe before earlier as well our reference reference plans and so those might have been found any of the ones that were per plan are called per plan I think he called it. A, uh, the whole P or per, per, per plan to, for, for the Dahlberg plan. You can find some of his stuff in the legend there. Those are the 
those are ones that were taken, they were said they were set by uh, the land services, so we gave them the benefit of. So in other words, Art did set all these or find all these? I, I, I don't know if it, we did not in this survey, but he has done other surveying out. This is not the first time he went out there, if you look at the record. Oh, I know that because, <laughs> because of this one, if nothing else. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I mean, I would assume those came from, uh, I had, I'm, I've been away from our, so it might have been done while I was in there. I know they've done some survey at a lot next door, too, that scrub, that's a, which long, another long driveway left, you see. Since both lot 157 and 157.1 have more than adequate frontage, both before and after, why was that upper part of the hammerhead added? Because there's like a wall that goes around there, and they wanted to, these kids a little bit. There's a, there's oh, okay. a, there's, a, there's a still wall that runs across here. And there's like a little front pasture area in there. There's a sugar house they have over here, a sap. Thing. And so they use this. They kind of use this area. It was just the point was to leave this with, you know, like I said, you're, you're correct. Your assumption is correct. The point was to leave that as a five-acre lot. So everything else above five point zero two acres, they reallocated. <laughs> you know, this was obviously benefits. This has the benefit of. I mean, this doesn't have to have it. The lot, the house is there already, but it makes it a nicer lot now. That parcel A. But any, you know, what it's. Uh, and this is just like I said, right. If you look right, right in here is a, just on the side of the driveway. It's like we have all the sap lines that run down through here. We mean, let's get that. So there's a little area up front. There's a little wall that kind of ends there. Another wall that kind of comes around the front there. So that actually has a natural. There's actually natural. A natural. We didn't we didn't hold this wall because it's interior, but it actually has a that. It's actually walled out like it like, like that. So it's falls it actually falls just the wall. So okay. <laughs> On this plan number 37317, done by Mr. Siciliano in 2011. Okay. First of all, there's wetlands shown above in here. Okay. Which, may, which we should show on this, just because it's going to make it very difficult to get from Brown Ridge to here. Yeah. Without, yeah, without a wetland permit. Yep. That, that's, that's, that's the easy one. <laughs> yep. I think you have to do some research because note four says variance granted July 6, 2010 to allow subdivision of the 20.4 acre lot <coughs> with zero frontage and no th further subdivision of the 20.4 acres. Right, so that's where. That's but you, where but aren't, you, aren't you subdivided? To, aren't you, subdivision is the wrong word, but you're adjusting the boundary lines. Well, no, this, that was a subdivision for 184. Right. And, and no right. With, so with no further subdivision of the 20.4 acres. You just made the 20.4 acres smaller. Oh, okay, okay, because we're pulling So up. I think you should double check that variance and make sure you're allowed to do that. I, okay, believe, you, I believe you are, but just to cover everything. Because it because you can't. Everything we sit on. I think the point was that so they wouldn't use that right away to put a second house up there. Because it didn't have frontage at that time. I think so. So that would be my assumption. We, we, we sh should get a copy of that variance and okay. <coughs> bring it to us. It would be yeah. nice to see. Uh, where is that? Which one is that? It's a variance. The variance of subdivision. Uh, July 6, 2010. What note is that? Number 4. Subdivision. Note 4. and No, it's on the old plan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't. What year is it? 2010? <coughs> Yeah, July 6, 2010 was a variance. Okay, yeah, because so, yeah, that would probably see, without even putting a second, second house up, I'll probably get two 10-acre lots or something off that right away. Yeah, I'll look at no, it. No, th this, plan, <laughs> this plan added the Brown Mill, add, added this Brown Ridge thing yeah. to this. Okay, yeah, that plan you're looking at. I'm just talking about the variance. So it's oh, no, yeah, the no, variance. No, for the subdivision. The variance for that. You can use that right away, but five, like four or five-acre lots on there. I don't know what the variant said, but yep. we, ought, we ought to know what it says before we go any further. Where's the weapon? Here. It's going to be very difficult to get from there to there. Well, we can, I can mess with the pull up your drawings and yeah. tie it anymore. That's just a, that's a But he's going to get it. Yeah. yeah, he would get it, but he doesn't have it. Right. He should show that it, he can't get it. You're drawing number 1716, by the way. 
on, the, on, on, the, on the old plan. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm drawing 1716, right? So I can pull that out of my head. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because I'll have to. Makes, it makes it easier to find it. Either that or go out of the basement and pull the files. And exactly. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I get people calling me up about 2004. I had a guy call me for a 1996 plan the other day. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. We have it all. We have them all at floppy, but I keep telling them all in one place. I keep telling them to put those in the car. <laughs> I'm assuming the town of town has that easement because <laughs> we approved this. Whoops. Wouldn't it say on here? No, it doesn't say. I don't know. We didn't. I didn't think of that. Any more questions? Oh, let me open to the public for public comment, sir. No, I, I was just trying to find please, out. please state your name for oh, her. My name is Rich you know, I'm at 76 Crown Ridge Road, which is that uh, 157. You know, the, uh, yes. Um, and I just was wondering what was up with you know the plan for actually putting a house. I mean, it doesn't you have to be a rocket scientist to know that's what the event, ultimate goal is. And 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 yeah, selling your mom's house. I, been there, done that. When they're gone, you, you don't really want to go back to it. So I get that too. Um, but you know, I'm just trying to understand because there is a brook that is usually wet most of the year that runs right across what what is that little tiny piece that's touching brown ridge. And so I just understand understand where that placement of the house is. That's go. the wetland I just mentioned. Yeah, that's it. So you yes. have to get you have to get. Yeah. Out. And it's it's not. Nice. And, and, and 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 sometimes it's it's a little less than. And Brookie, it's more like a little spring, but uh, it's always wet, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, like I said, there's plenty of a road there. That the, This does not reflect the current status of that road. Um, yes, can you that. locate the road, too? Oh, yeah, right, to bring yeah, it up. I'm sure that came right up. I'm sure that came up. Yeah. Right, okay. There's that. Looks like it came from the previous plan, but. Yeah, because that would provide, yes. that, that would provide three more road for this here, so road. Yeah, I might have I didn't, I didn't look at it. I think it's the pavement that moved, not the right of way. Anyway. And, and, and that's all. I mean, I, I, I think Sean is the straight up guy. I don't, I don't have a problem with what he's doing. I just, again, wanted to know where that house was. It would eventually end up, but probably not at that stage yet. Yeah, I don't even know. He's probably going to take it outside. I don't even go out and take a test with you. Future plan. He's got to ask you for the one he's got right now. Is this? No. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. To me, that that place that mm -hmm. I have a steady stream of hunters ringing my doorbell saying, "Can we come and walk through there?" I'm like, "Well, I don't own that, but you're more than welcome to to walk through my land as well." Yeah. And, and uh, whatever good. you catch, I get a stew when I'm happy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just a stew? Yeah, I'm not picky. I I gotta tell you, the, the, this the wall. I'm still I still I'm still like the wall on that lower side there the, between the two abutters. I've never never seen a bigger wall in all my years. It's like you stand on there, you feel like. Fill up with the little walls. Your sense of proportion gets like, you know, it's like you feel like a little you know. <laughs> there's, there, you know. there's one in Hopkinton that I surveyed. It's four feet, four, four, and probably five feet high, about this high. Yeah. It's got to be as almost as wide that's, as the That's table. what this was like out there, too. It's it's just, and, and how long does it run? Oh, my Lord. It looks like 1, you can drive on 1, top feet. At the same width? Well, oh, it's straight yeah. as an arrow. Yeah. Bang. That's what this is like, too. It sounds like it was a depository for field stones. It goes from South Road right down up, right down to Drew Lake. You stand up. It's like you, everything feels it's weird. Beautiful. You, feel, you feel like you're the wrong, everything's the wrong side. But it's not yeah. laid. It's thrown. Mm -hmm. No, no. The edges the, the, the edges are. The edges are laid. The middle's thrown. Right. right. There's, there's two walls with a wall with yeah. a bunch of rocks in the middle. Pretty, that's pretty the way to get the clear the yeah. rocks out of the field. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is just... This was built like that, though. This was—it's not like a rubble it's, in the middle either. It's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really. I took pictures of it. It's really as soon as they finished that, they left for the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, Everybody they like, killed yeah. ever did. Yeah. <laughs> they moved well, all the rocks like you could bury. Yeah. Kids want to play. Go play with the rocks. Put them on the wall. <laughs> okay. Crazy colonials. Want to continue? Yes. Yeah. I think we're we've exhausted this. Yes, I think. Um, one motion to continue.
Do we have anything coming up? Uh, no. Major in the 14th? Or the, yeah, the 14th? No. <coughs> Nothing real major. But, um, um, Is that the next week, the 14th? No, I'm talking about California. A conceptual and a lot line, or a merger. Would that be okay to continue for two weeks? Or you want a month? Uh, I got to... I, I don't know if I got play, a flight booked to California that because I, I was trying to go to California between the two meetings. I don't think Art's going to be back, so I would. I don't. I can't. There's no problem. Then we'll continue for two for March. I don't think that'll. Yeah, that'll that'll give that'll give us some time to get all that drafting and stuff you're doing because it's taken me a little time to get uh, things back. <coughs> okay. Grandkids are. Mr. Grandkids Chairman, are I move. Around. You know, I try and call him on the phone. The grandkids are at his feet. The boss trying to make him go walk into the post office. So he's not he's sitting in front of the computer drafting. No. That's Mr. Well. Chairman, I move we continue this matter to uh, March 28, 2019. I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 See you in a month. All right. Well, that was a. Uh, you won't get another notice. Okay. No, no. no more well, notices. You, you guys have, we'll have meeting minutes coming to you right now, some of the stuff we talked about. You, you should come to make sure that whatever revisions yes. there are. Yeah. Send yes. me your email because I made some notes as we were going along. But Twenty-eight. We talked about a lot of things there. Send me your email address. Hmm. E. I don't think we, I don't think that's a big surprise. Thank you. Very much. Oh, thank you. Key. You need to go over and smack him, Chip. I know. I got to grab him by the ponytail. Not. Send me your email care. address. Oh, my, my personal one. Okay, yeah. Well, where I can send the copy of the minutes. To okay, you. yeah. Well, do you think what's happened is that, you, know, you have arts, and then I'll, I'll give you mine too because I'd like to see them faster than they're getting back to me, honestly. Okay. We got minutes for November eighth, January tenth, February fourteenth. Yes, I got the same minutes, and I actually printed them out. And you have them with you? Yes. And you read them? No. <laughs> but we're gaining. <laughs> I get credit for, step in the right direction. for two out of three. You, and that's the right it. you look good in print. Hey, we're gaining, you know. Step in the right direction, like I said. Let's look at November, November 8th. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> November 8th minutes. <clears throat> I'll go through what I had on the second page. This is, what are you doing, November? Yes, November 8th. She has what I have. She copied mine. On the second page, it says the chair instructed the group. Let's change that to the chair stated that the board will send a letter to all the abutters because that's what we did. And we don't say anything in here about this is the Riverdale, the first time we met with Riverdale. I was going to have a new paragraph saying the board was concerned about the only use, the only allowed use of single family dwellings. And that Michael, Mike Haas agreed to rewrite the ordinance. Yeah, because they didn't have any. Right, that's all they had. Right. Because then a month later we get a whole, not, whole different ordinance. Right. Or they a didn't, couple weeks they didn't realize that the. The lack of listing uses was an error. Does that make sense, Neil? Or didn't you follow me? I didn't follow you. So I was going to add a pair. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Add a paragraph, page two, probably above the December 6th paragraph. Yeah. The board was concerned about the only allowed use being single family dwellings. And and Mike Haas agreed to rewrite that, or there was discussion or something. We well, it took a that few minutes to about. get the point across that. Yes, that, that, that's what they that, were that doing. Was, that was the big point of the boards, right? Because we wanted home shops and home business, right? And so today, and agricultural barns and what, whatever, I mean, and other than everything else, yeah. So the issue wasn't about high density, it was broader. Yes, it was broader. Okay, so you're going to delete this, you want to delete yeah, that paragraph and substitute the one that you just wrote?
How about we just delete, delete the line? The chair wants a better understanding about the term high density. Get rid of that. Yeah. The board was concerned about the only the board expressed use. concern. Sure. The board the board expressed concern about the only allowed about, use about limiting. Go ahead. <laughs> you can go. You're doing good. You know what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Your concern is that the the agreement the the ordinance they gave us the only allowed use was single family dwellings, and that was too limited. You couldn't put a garage. You couldn't put a barn. You couldn't put anything. That was way too limited. They didn't want that. We didn't want that. Nobody wanted that. So instead so, of the board expressed concern, concern was expressed sure. that the definition that the um, uses that permitted uses in the district as proposed by um, who are these guys? Citizens uh, the the group were un, were far too limited, and Mr. Haas uh, agreed to um, propose actually, a. Actually, the group met again. Okay, and and Mr. and Mr. Haas said the group. Mr. Haas. Ag uh, Suggested the group would present a somewhat broader definition of permitted uses. She just had him write that and send it to her. Because if I was taking notes, I would have missed nine tenths of that. that but that's gonna be your job. That's her job. She does a better job than you do. That's why she got the job. <laughs> why is she shaking her head? Because <laughs> I don't think she got any more of it than I did. Concern was expressed that the um, permitted, uses permitted uses in in the proposed zone, uh, in district. The, oh, in the district as proposed were far too limited, and M Mr. Haas agreed to propose a group of no, Mr. Haas, uh, Mr. Haas uh, agreed that the group would propose a broader definition. A broader definition. Just let her write it. Um, on the next paragraph, December 6th, it's not the town hall, it's the town office. Just so you know, you are in the town office. If you want to be in the town hall, you'll have to go across 114. <laughs> Same sentence instead of saying, next line, our HOD group can create petition if desired. Then the board continued until December 6. Okay. And I missed one thing that I have on my paper that I didn't say about. Third line, second page. Forced to change owner. The word owner should not be in that line. Forced to change uses drastically. You're on page two. Yeah. Whoa. You and I are on different. We are on different page twos. I got the chair. I got a couple of other things. Okay. Which, what's the sentence? <coughs> Forced. Chair commented. And some would be forced. To change use is not change owner. You're not changing the owner, you're changing the uses. Do you have that? Yes. Okay. Why is yours different? He prints with a bigger font so we can read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> okay. Move that uh, the board approve the minutes, that the minutes of November 8th, 2018, as amended, be approved. I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 I'll see if I wasn't there. I'll see. Pass 301. January 10th minutes. I got a little confused near the end of this one, or near, near the bottom of the first page.
Okay, um, adjournment. I'm going to make it a little bit more generic. Strike what you've written and put in the meeting ended at 830. How did you do that? Because this is so no, unhelpful. I mean, I mean, how did you do it? Well, I, I made the statement that you could declare. But I didn't. But, but you, and you did, but she wrote it down that I did. So right. I tried to be diplomatic. But it should be I did. If you want you to. Can, yeah, can you? Obviously not. But this is a factually correct statement. The meeting ended oh, at 8 30. Okay. It doesn't say anything else. Okay, you're yes. taking the Mr. Kirk part out. Right, absolutely. Okay. All right. absolutely. I didn't get that. <laughs> Um, under two conceptual review, Mr. Kalugian approached and divulged. It, it, Kalugian. 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 Okay. Approach. Uh, divulged has some negative connotations. So can we use a different word? Um, and explained. And event planning venue um, should not be capitalized. Um, on the last line in conceptual review, instead of you need, one needs. Craig, um, I'm going to get those last three sentences there pretty quick. Okay, to the Mulholland thing, Mr. Francisco, oh, Mr. Francisco requested that Mr. Mulholland keep in mind before purchasing the property he would need a variance for the 50-foot setback for the building and the 25 buffer to the wetland. We didn't discuss those things today when he presented his application. Well, first of all, the 50-foot setback, Mr. Fillmore corrected me later on, does not apply. Okay. How about you take off the word suggested and uh, Noted. I was going to say stated that Mr. Mulholland, he may need a variance instead of would need. So Mr. Francisco stated that Mr. Mulholland, keep in mind before purchasing property, he may need a variance. And variance is not capitalized. For the 25-foot buffer to the wetland. It's about yes. So I did, say, I did say that, but Mr. Fillmore corrected me later on. And we don't want to have you stating something inaccurate for in minutes. Right. Okay. Just check. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to jump way down to Sawyer Road thing here. And there's a sentence, uh, where is it? Mr. Kirk said a culvert, that sentence. Two-thirds of the way down through that paragraph. I want to strike everything after that, Mr. Kirk said, and replace it with Mr. Fillmore stated that the existing culvert is undersized. Mr. Kirk said the culvert needs replaced and a civil engineer must be contacted, contracted, excuse me, to design a new culvert with a 20 foot wide travel width and obtain a DES wetland impact permit. Period. Works for me because I, I don't recall saying that 
I remember he, uh, I remember you saying there yeah. was is one. Yeah. This, is, this is his area, not mine. No, what you said was exactly. I remember, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, that's what happened anyway. That's, right. that's what we agreed to. Right. Did you get that? No, I didn't think so. No, can, you re can we email it to me? I can hand it to you. Okay, great. That's perfect. I'm just going to throw it away. That's all I got. Um, move that the minutes of January 10th, 2019 be approved <coughs> as amended. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed 4 0. February 14th. On the first conceptual review for Kevin Bishop. Next to the last line, Mr. Francisco stated to make sure you cover the use, cover the use in the variance application. That's all I have. Let's go. What is a nitrate setback? I remember uh, Nit Dennis using that word. But septic system. It's in your septic. It's usually on large, very large commercial fields. It has to be over a thousand gallon per day. I, don't know, I didn't remember the number. Yeah. Before it kicks in. New Hampshire's the only state that has one too. But what's? Well, that's because a lot of the other states do nitrate. The nit it means a setback. At least field has a different setback. When you get over a thousand gallons. It has a nitrate setback. You can't be so close to a property line. You can't be so close to another leach field. Why is that called a nitrate setback? Because that's what is DS rules for nitrates in the effluent. Nitrates in the in the effluent going to the leach field. It's a setback designed to deal with nitrates. Nitrates and how they might affect the soil. Yes. Water and water table. Make a motion. We are we are we were all set on this. Are you? Is, it, is that the, those are the only changes? That's all I had. I can get my copy to Bruce. Okay. Let him read them. Make a motion to approve the minutes of February fourteenth as amended. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 We have now caught up on minutes, gentlemen, for the first time since May. Yay. Do we need to keep this? Give yourself an attaboy. Well, I shouldn't have to keep it. Do whatever you want to with it. We should be getting all new applications, so everyone yes. should be jumped. Yeah, I agree with you. I declare we're done. I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs>